Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, wherever you are, I welcome you all to, do, to today's broadcast. Though it is a little bit late back there in the holy and the blessed land of Biafra, from me, from here, it is good evening, and I say to you, wherever you are, depending on your time factor, morning, good afternoon, and good night. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, wherever you are, today we are going to deliberate on the issue of Peter Obi, because most of us does not understand the game that Peter Obi is playing against over 75 million souls, innocent souls, that are need to be secured and be in a place of security. Because you cannot be secured in the enemy's hands. You see, most of us may be too emotional, but you don't understand the game this particular man called Peter B is helping the Westerners to play. Let me tell you something. There is we must learn to call a spade a spade. We must learn to call a spade a spade. When history is denied, mistake is likely to be often repeated. Let me repeat. When history is denied, mistake of life is likely to be often repeated, which is very, very dangerous. This is why we keep record. This is why families always have history of their lineage this is why countries always have re history of the of functionings of those nations because when you have the knowledge of history that is kind of mistake you don't do like the problem we have today as how we abandoned our own land why we focus and keep on developing people's land is is because of the cause of lack of history some mistake today some Igbo billionaires engaged in one nigeria today let me tell you something if there was no scrap off of history in our schools most of people will not do it most of people will not do it and because of that most of people that misled the this particular race called the beer france we had our elders majority of them we are you know i don't know May I call them agent of the Westerners? Because like I said, I've been saying it often and on for many years now. You know, there are something they say, this is story. There are something they say, this is witness. When they say somebody narrated a story to me, and they say this person was witness of this particular story, it's different. If you hand over and hand, narrate a story and hand over to me, that is the way I will present that story because it was handed over to me. Then when they say this person had the spirit or witness what take place over there, that is when you are talking, you are not talking based on the written document. You are talking about where based on what you witness at that particular event is different. Let me tell you something. Why IPOB is moving forward upon all the billionaires, upon all the billionaires that are Western, that are agents of the Westerners, of the Western world, they have tried all they could. But still, IPOB has no budget. 
This is not that uh, they are billionaires. They have billions of dollars in their account, in the account of IBOB. No. But with the little resources that come into the hands of IBOB, only what they use, only what they need to do with it is just to mobilize some certain articles or some certain issue or certain, certain persons. And those ones will use their own private form. And they will produce results, despite being not sponsored. That volunteer spirit will lead them. They will have. There is no mission IPOB step into that they don't come out with victory. Do you know why? Do you know the secret? Because they understand. They have learned the tactics of the Westerners. Why would them? Why are them succeeding? And why did they learn it? They don't learn it where being in a faraway space from those people. They learn it within them there. We understand the game. There you see. Why is it finding are they finding it so difficult? I mean the France and the Britain. Why are they finding it so difficult? To use the tactics they have been always been using against some particular place which they focus their eye for resources you know the problem we have is that we always quickly to forget things as black people we don't we don't memorize things if you watch the event of iraq how iraq was invaded by george bush and the tony blair it was a very this is the that is exactly the game they want to brought in into Biafra or into IPOB to crush IPOB. But as soon as they make that step, IPOB have already know what they are heading to because we have their history at our at our disposal. Their history is here, and they knew we know what they know. You know when when a man knows what you know. There is a way you discuss things with that man. What will be your discussion with that man is how you will engage in business with that man and no one will cheat each other. Because already, any single word you want to speak, that man may have known you properly. No, no. Even before the word comes out of your mouth, you know where you are going to. You know where you are going to stop. This is how IP will be pre in prison all of them. This is how we were able to imprison all of them. You see, all of us, we should be very, very careful. We should not be so emotional. Remember what I told you earlier when Peter B escaped the ambushing PDP, APC, and other political parties in Nigeria laid against all the Igbo's politicians. They laid ambush. They led ambush on all political, uh, political uh, party platform. That is where they led ambush. And that is what France and the Britain lecture them. They say, these people is the owner of the resources of this place. They don't dare you bring the owner of property into what we are all harvesting. So let me tell you something. The Igbos, you have no single sin. Call a single Yoruba. Listen, I have told you that sometimes we need to engage in the physical practice and forget about story and gossip and the theory. Call o when I listen, I told you I grew up in Yoruba land. I schooled in Yoruba land. Everything about the Yorubas is in my palm. And we were good families till tomorrow. And we still remain. We still remain good family. But that does not make you stupid in terms of putting the record straight. Those that know me very well, they will know me that I don't be, even in this in this country, most of the citizens of this country and even our fellow foreigners, 
they know me that I don't believe in racism. You see that word called racism. I don't believe. When I have lived in Italy, Italy. And in some part of Italy where racism is, according to the people who believe in that trash, I don't believe in racism. I have argued it openly. I have made a debate with people, even not even with only black, with intelligent white and intelligent black of this country. We have sat down on the round table and this issue was raised. Before them all, I told them, I, Lion Man Leon, does not believe in racism. Racism is, I believe, what I, what racism you are talking about is men and women with, I call them men and women with low mentality. They were all looking at me. I said, yes. They said, can I explain one further? I explain. I said, I don't believe it. Because why I don't believe it is, this word is always like that. Even it began from God. It began from the creator of heaven and earth. So, why should somebody say, you know, maybe somebody say, I, I don't like you as a person. Maybe this person is a colored person. He's a white man. And he look at me and say, I don't like you. That is his personal choice. That is his own personal choice. You can't force somebody to like you. So what you need to do that time is to create border or create limit of communication with you and that person who have make it open that I don't like you. You don't fool yourself and say, keep on forcing yourself into that person. Keep on forcing yourself into that person. Let me tell you, you don't force yourself into a relationship. Those who have, anybody who does it, I call them low esteem persons. They don't have, they don't have value for themselves. You don't force yourself into a relationship. Or you don't force yourself into communication. Britain and the France has made it very clear that Africa, they hate Africa and they want to they want to use Africa as their footstep, as where they will place their foot on. And that's how, that is exactly what they have been doing for a decade. And majority of leaders of Africa you are seeing today are being brought up by this particular people. And, and they pass over this particular uh, 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 they pass over this particular idea to these men they have raised in Africa if at this particular time Igbo politicians in Nigeria okay let me just use this word Eastern Easterners let me say the Eastern region politicians in Nigeria can never now come out and tell themselves openly and boldly truth before the world. Tell them that, no. At times, I don't know the problem we have. I keep on repeating this word. Know the truth and the truth has set you free. I don't play with this chapter of Bible. Do you know why? Every solution lies in that particular chapter. Every solution of life lies in that particular. If you want to have peace of mind as a as a as a person, eh, always read that chapter of Bible. That shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That word covers many things. It, cover, it covers many advice. There are some things that the person don't need to tell you. But we we mean we we administer to yourself that particular word that okay it's like somebody who is into a relationship and the moment you began to cheat you find out that now you are giving yourself unnecessary stress don't you know that cheating or in relationship give 
you bring unnecessary stress to yourself. Because one, you are not confident of leaving your electronic device anyhow with the woman. The same thing applicable to the woman as well. The woman will not be free again to leave her phone, to leave her computer. Because, but when you are very, very free, when you are very free, very free, that you know very well that this is the person I am facing, this is the person that is facing me. You can come into your house, you, you, fling, you fling your phone anywhere you want and sleep off. Because you have, you have no fear of anything. But when you engage in cheating or one thing or the other, what will come over your you If you want to sleep, you carry your phone. You put, you, you, if you don't have a, you find one side of pillow to, plug, to, to hook, to hide the phone. Unnecessary, I call it unnecessary stress. Stressing yourself for nothing. Disturbing your heartbeat for nothing. For what is nonsense. This is exactly the problem of the Igbo, of Eastern, or the, or Eastern region politicians in Nigeria. This life is too precious and too short to live. Talk less of stressing it. I keep on telling people, anything that stresses me, I don't like it. If I am your friend, or I am in communication with you, your communication now want to throw me into unnecessary stress, I will cut it off. I will first of all warn you, this is what I don't want. This is what I don't want. If I just, I just cut everything off. Go, let me go. If by this time they have never understand the program, what is happening in Nigeria is a program of the Westerners. And some Westerners who are not ready because of the future of their own people, who are not ready, is trying to engage in doing it right this time around. This is why I love the Italian government. They are among the beneficiary of the rotting system of Nigeria. Because almost all the whole countries in Europe are still in oil. Denmark did not know that Nigeria space is a free space to steal. They don't know before. No way they did not know. Until this recent time they discovered they joined they, they join their they join their brothers. No way today comes into they, they comes into our high sea with submarine. Come and drill oil and go. Because Britain also see them coming. They want to challenge them, they tell them no. You have no right to challenge us. You have been stealing in this in this space for many for many years. If you challenge us, we will expose everything, and they keep quiet. And many con if more more we delay, more difficult we will have. That's why I say every bona fide Biafran child or sons and daughter should stand up. You should stand up and face reality. Earlier you face reality and abandon fictions and promises and hope that is when you will know that yes you have arrived your destiny is in your hands this is the major speeches of almost all the swearing in american presidents george bush would make this statement obama made this statement Bill Clinton made this statement. Trump made this statement. Joe Biden made this statement. Have you asked why is the, all of them making this statement? They are not making it because it's, they love the word, word they are using. Because that word is compulsory to be used by every American elected president. Have you noticed it? It's compulsory to be used by every American. Do you know why they're saying it? He may not know. Okay, let me carry it to, let me take it to this dimension. 
that is a parent that is a word in our land that said that umwa le wengin ne wengin na le jin le ji advice ndo ya wengin ne wengin na abaro mo yu for the benefit of those who does not understand this wonderful and the first language of the earth let me tell you that is a word that says that a child an orphan let me just use this word an orphan who does not have father he doesn't have mother he uses the advice of his or her pe or her friend's parent to be better to, to better him or herself or when he doesn't have mother he doesn't have father and they need fatherly and the motherly advice what he will do he will now he will now be following his friend or her friend to their parent home every word of advice being given to those his or her friend by from their parent he will learn from there and better himself the problem of black man is problem of we the black is that we are not i don't know what is wrong with our brain our brain is our problem our brain our mentality is our problem i don't know if he, because of the too much dust we hail him because of no development and i strongly believe that may be the problem major problem we have because the new research the new the new report of the latest research of 2023 is showing that over 60 something million nigerians are mentally disordered over 60 the highest in the whole planet earth Is anybody thank god that they are the people they are the people who did the research and they bring bring out research. if it is ipob that done that research they will say ip will be safe ip will be safe but we know Martin not can have said this thing when he said it in, in his program many years ago he said he even even bring the low low result he said over 45 percent of uh, no, he said over 40 something million Nigerians are mentally disordered. And he said these mentally disordered people are mainly in the political mainstream of the country. If you watch that police officer in River State that was assaulting that man, there is nobody with a good head. Let me tell you something. A man like you with a good head will not raise his hand to his to to to, to to intimidate his fellow man because if it is a man with good head he will understand that this man is a man like me there is something i will do this man may react badly both of us may either i may lose my life or he will lose his life that's the first thing that will come into his mind to show you that his mind his his mental faculty is working properly but when a man does not have when he have mental disorder he don't care It, when you have mental disorder, you don't, you, don't, you don't think things. You do this anyhow you want it. And if you end the disaster, because that is what a madman, a madman does not know what end the disaster and what will end well. Because he is not with his bread. That is why they are dressed as mad people. Thank God they are the one who brought that, that result. Imagine somebody who, you know, they give birth to this person. All the rest of his life or his growth, he has been living in dust, in an environment of too much dust. Bring, bring, now, I want you to do one experiment. Bring us a siva, original siva. 
put it somewhere there is dust and put other silver where there is no dust can you produce the same color if you come you need to clean you need to clean that silver that is that you place on that dust you have to clean them so imagine the brain what they had what we have been hailing all the rest of our hailing dust into our system the dust will go and block our faculty, our thinking faculty it will block everything about us don't you know that this human body is like uh, it's like vehicle it's like vehicle when some boats of vehicle got rust it will not be functioning properly until you take it to the mechanic the engineer they will clean all those all those rust clean all those dust and wash them clean service them and fix them again they will begin to work normal again that first research i did was every africa especially especially those who are coming from that nigeria that space called nigeria moment they come to abroad it's okay now let me just use our umbrella as a christian as example many young pastors today even those who are still in that criminal education uh, religious education called bible school that's the worst that is the worst place ever that is where the that is the highest criminality institution in the world that those ones in nigeria those ones in nigeria if i discover let me tell you let me tell you my secret if i discover you were a bible school partaker in nigeria you went to that place and come out at me i will not i will not service in your church well, i know i know that you have the certificate of criminality i'm telling you now i know that you have this certificate some certificate of criminality they have taught you how to manipulate people I will distance you immediately. What you see P2B is playing is called mind game. And this game is handed over to him by the Westerners. In other way, to be an obstacle to the restoration of the Afra. Many people, many of you don't understand it. To divide, to divide your energy, divide the attention. They know how to play. When I told you that Britain and the France, they program Nigeria to destabilize Africa. Nigeria is the problem of Africa. Since 2016, I discovered this thing. I went somewhere. I went somewhere in this country. I went somewhere in this country. Where men, where men, where you will discover many secrets how this world is moving, how this world is, the functioning the engagement, the rules of engagement of this earth. And that place I saw that Nigeria is programmed by the Westerners to destabilize Africa. Nigeria is the problem of Africa. Nigeria is the problem. The same way they projected Japan to destabilize Asia those days. Japan was the eye focus of Britain and the Westerners to make sure that Asia did not Asia did not see the green light of this earth but what happened some group of japan who went outside who left their place because of too much suffering this japan you are seeing today the japanese the citizens of asia you are seeing today they were has made in france in britain even they will, go, they will go there and hire exactly what they are doing in Nigeria now. You see that is the only thing. But most of you, when you are being hired 
I think sometimes they will say do Canada is doing lottery visa. They will bring the form to Nigeria. And in, in, on that uh, lottery visa, what you'll be hearing, uh, they want professionals. Go and check everybody who won American lottery visa. If you don't have, if you are not a specialist in one particular thing to another, you if you feel that whether they give the form, you feel the form. And the majority of people who always won this particular thing, they are always other nurses, other doctors, other engineers, or something. Show me one trader, trader, buying and selling. Show me one buying and selling family. They told you that ah, this buying and selling man who oh, in one American lottery visa and he's going with his family. That time that is open before they shut it down. Tell me, give you one, just prove me wrong. Say, Lion Man, I know one man who is a pepper seller. Or I know one man who is a motorcycle seller. I know one man who says clothes. Or who say bra, who say uh, female clothes. In, a, in Yaba, that want it. Do you know why they're doing those things? Because these are the people, these people they are taking away from that space is the people who will change the environment. That's the people who we change the environment. So they take they take them along with them. They remove that particular potential and move and move them away. That is actually how Japan was projected. Until this particular group of people. You see, in everything in life, is not everybody everybody must not involve before solution comes. There are some particular people that God have designed or appointed or anointed for such mission. It's not by Mozo. It's by are you in for this? I've been watching our people, watching our people, and nobody is saying anything. Concerning activities of P2B. Even within P2B, P2B knew that he is, he is helping them to play the game. Forget all this jump. Somebody who has been in the Nigeria system and they know that rules of law is useless in Nigeria. He know there is no law in Nigeria. Nigeria is judge can decide whatever you want to do you see in nigeria is the judge decide whatever your faith may be politicians decide whatever your future may be it's not by we they have law this law this man respect this law like how it is here everybody rest. even the big men are more careful about being guided because of let the law not to collapse on them i told you that poor people in abroad are more free than the big men as soon as you are your level changes in abroad you become a millionaire in abroad you must be very you must trade with care Even there is a word you will use, you maybe you we are using when you we are struggling. But as soon as God blesses you, you must not be using this word again. Because any single utterance that comes out of your mouth, somebody, there are people who are standby for that. There are people, they, they call them paparazzi. And they have all these human rights lawyers. Who are working with them 
Any single utterance, they want to use it to extract money from you. Because law permits, law permits it. They will tell you no. You use this word because you want to mock this man. You use this word because you want to mock this woman. And for that, you will pay. But this is the word that ordinary poor person in abroad can use it over and over again. Nobody, nobody even listening whether he's saying anything. But look at those who are blessed in Nigeria. They will intimidate you. They will humiliate you. They will. Don't, there is no kind of ill treatment they will not dish out on, on you. And no nations survive in that manner. Because interest of the masses is the number one priority of every government. Britain, they have nothing. France, they have nothing. And because of they want the interest of their own people to do for their people to live comfortable. And that is why they are standing on the destiny of Africans. So my question now is. Are you blaming a man who have come to survive through you and comfort his family? Or are you blaming a man who allow his own family to be destroyed to comfort another foreign, far away land family? So who are we to blame? We need to blame ourselves. I don't like giving, I don't like blaming them. Because they are, they are man, they are human like you. They have one single hair. As God created you, go to mirror, you look yourself. You have two eyeballs. They also have two eyeballs. You have nose, they have nose. You have your mouth, they have their mouth. You have your tongue, they have tongue. You have two ears, they have two ears. So where will you will be giving excuses of why are they you know, become an oppression on you, become colonizing you, de dealing with you, making you poor. Why are they doing that? It's only when you look mirror, you find out that everything in them is double than your own. If maybe their ears are four, their eyes are four, their heads are two, their mouth are four or two than one, or their hands are, two, uh, are four. <laughs> if you're giving them, okay, we say, okay, they have more more system in their body than you. Maybe that is why they are, they, they, are, they are top of you. Let me tell you, before Africa will become a place as God made it, God made Africa so rich to the point, what, when God was, because that is the first, that is, Africa is the first is the first continent in the world. How many of you know this? Every continent you see today, Africa give birth to every, 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 everywhere, everybody. Asia came from Africa. America came from Africa. Oceania came from Africa. Europe came from Africa. When I told you that anything I tell you, when anything I open my mouth and say, this is the what this person is. Comrade comes on. Is it P2B? Oh, is it P2B? This game that is played is helping the Westerner to play. I give you all. Before August, most of people will come out on the national television Nigeria. Even they or they will they will they will you will see those who are claiming they are blind. They will not be saying it openly. They will say, Peter B is a madman for playing such game, helping the white to play this kind of game against his own people. I will say, hit, but this is how I've been saying it before. When, when I will come to the program, I will say, a great mother activities in, in our land is pure disaster and evil. 
There was once at the time one man called me, said, Lion like, man, why did you why did you hate this man so much? I said, God forbid, I don't hate anything that God creates. I said, Don't use that word, don't misunderstand me. I said, There is something in this man that I are not seeing that I have seen about him. There are some information in my reach that he does not, he does, he don't have. So when I'm saying about him, keep quiet. There are something that I don't, maybe I am conditioned to know for me that in open. But I will be speaking and I'll be hitting on that person. So he left for you to pay attention and say, what is this man is saying? Let us pay attention on this man. Then you, you will not be... Every time I will come on, but I will say, Ekremado, 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 Ekremado. Until he became open now. All of you have saw his activity with evidence. Not even the boy that he took to that place. That was, it's not the only the case that convinced. Evidence of the one he have done. They were, they were begin to present to them. They begin to bring everything out. You had a communication of so 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 year of so 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 year. This name, this name, this is a female name. This is a male name. Where did you keep them? Where are them? He was surprised. This is also name. We hear you are communicating with somebody. You take this person out. Where is this person? Can you bring it to us? Can you provide? What is the address of this person? Is still living? And all those people, they are asking him. None of them is alive. They have already killed them and sell, sell. But one thing that surprises me is I knew the man was into the business before he became a politician. But one thing that I was thinking as well, maybe because he has eaten federal government money, you know, resources money, country money, maybe he has quit the business. Remember what I told you? I said, it's only black man. I don't, that's why I say we have problem in our head. It's only black man that engages in a crime. Until that crime consumes him, he will not resign from that crime. Nobody commits crime than the white. They are the man. Okay, where did the word crime come from? Is it not from them? We don't know anything called crime. We don't know the language called crime. Then talk to us. We enter. And according to their own philosophy, crime is something that you engage in a shortest minute or shortest hour with opportunity. You run away. And use what you get there to do what? To channel yourself on the other side of legitimate life. That is the reason why they call it crime. But crime, black people turn it into business. Hello? See? Tabo, ya mandó, ya mandó lista aquí. Ya lleva vía, ya lleva vía. Tabo. Tabo, a mañana. This is what you, you engage, you run away from it. But black man will be there until that crime consume him. By now, I don't think that P2P should be playing that game handed over to him by the members of Freemason. And P2P understand that Freemason is for mind control of a black, a black African. That is why they allow them in. They begin to control them. By now, P2P should have not even tried it this time around. Try to satisfy his his members against his own people.
They know. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. The same, the same, the same stupid and selfish game played by Namdaziki against Ojuku, who wanted everybody better life. It's the same game this man came in this 21st century to play. And everybody's keeping, everybody's keeping quiet, thinking that, uh, let me tell you, P2B is a very big problem. If you don't know it, know it now. It's a very big problem against Bia France. But I am, I am very certain that his ending is fast approaching. If Peter B did not retrace his step quickly eh, and drop this game, they handed over to him. So that we will be focused and get what we need and go away. We, little, little, don't let anybody deceive you. The reason for the reason why God gives you resources in your land is to better your life. You don't need to labor, you don't need, go and see countries. Go and see countries that are the meaning of country. If Nigeria is not a country. So if I what I'm telling you, if you are within the Nigeria, you will not you will not understand the language until you leave Nigeria and go to Europe or go to other other developed countries. You will understand that ah. So I have been living in a place, I have been deceiving myself all this while, saying that uh, we have country. No, you don't have country. What you have is jungle. When Martin Nandekanu called it zoo, I say this man, this is the only mistake this man made in his life. For disrespect, even for disrespecting animals. Because calling Nigeria zoo is you just disrespect animals. Because in the zoo, animals are properly taken care of. That is why it is called zoo. Animals are guided. Not to destroy themselves. In the zoo, you cannot mix lion with antelope. Have you gone to any zoo? They say lion and antelope is in one the same cage. No. They will cage lion somewhere. They will cage antelope somewhere. They will cage snake somewhere. They will separate them. While each, each keepers of this zoo will be giving them food according to what they eat. Because what snake eats is not what antelope eats. What antelope eats is not what lion eats. So that is why they were they all separated and give them food according to their own nature, according to their own functioning as animal. They give them each, they discover each what, what the food that is good in their body. They give it to them. Then how dare you now? A place where lion are open, antelope are open, python are open, this one are open. They allow them in, survival of the fitted. That's what Nigeria is, jungle. Very dangerous jungle in that matter. Very dangerous jungle in that matter. Nigeria has become the headquarter of human organ harvesters. Indians are there harvesting. People are harvesting for India, handing over the, the bodies of our part, part of our people to Indians. This is what major police stations in Nigeria, especially anywhere you see SARS. These are the major business they are doing. Packaging human organs the, on daily basis and being handed over. The highest buyers now, where it is more expensive, is Turkey. Turkey agents are there. Turkish diplomats are helping them carrying these kidneys and this thing. Passing our airport in the name of uh, diplomatic uh, passage. And the uh, custom. Our customs know. Our immigration know. They are having their own share. On daily basis. I am not saying weekly. On daily basis. 
this particular issue are being moved out of our airport on daily basis. Tell me anywhere in the world such thing can happen. You come, you kill their citizen, you package them, you pass airport with their body. I am telling on daily basis this business is, is going on. Politicians are in this business. Traditional rulers are engaged in this business. Pastors are engaged in this business. Reverend fathers are engaged in this business. I'm telling you now. On daily basis. On daily basis. When they need a small child uh, uh, organ, that is when you will hear one child is missing. And nobody will find the child. Uh, he have, and the worst thing about the Nigerian media is, I have never seen where Nigerian media take missing person serious. Do you know that before you report your missing person picture or they show, they will be able to show it in any channel, maybe channel television or AIT or NTA or this. Do you know that the family of the victim have to pay such amount, a particular amount of money? Do you know that? How many of you know? Your person is missing, you know? Instead of the government, it is their duty to be flashing the picture of that person and be talking about that person for, for years. But the family, they will, one lawyer will come and say, uh, let us take... The, do you have any of the picture? Because you have to come, let us see how we can go and meet AIT. A, 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 a. Let us ask them how much would they use to flash these pictures after their news, flash these pictures, you know, talk about it. They will tell you the price, you will run away. They will tell you the price, you will run away. You will say, why uh, leave him? The mother will cry, the father will cry, that is over. Then one, one pastor will come from nowhere, one reverend father will come nowhere and be touching his back. Uh, God bring, God take, God know the best. That is all. God bring, God take, God know the best. The child has lost, it has lost. Even animals in the forest. Even animals in the forest. cry for their own children. I'm not talking about human beings. Animals, go and watch the animal's character. Go and watch the animal's world. Animals that give birth in the jungle, in the bush of jungle, maybe one other animal attack their children. You will see the mother and the father of those animals, of those little animals. They will fight their fellow animals to defend their children. But in Nigeria, Even animals more animals now are not happy and are not having more heart, more feeling about their children than the parents in Nigeria. What Nigeria if, if you don't end Nigeria, eh? If you don't end Nigeria, that will be the time. Nigeria will possess Africa, African nations will become I don't know what even Satan will be learning work from African nations. Satan will do now Satan now will now become apprentices in our hand. If you don't take time. Nigeria will pollute Africa to the point. Eh? To the point. In the next, let me tell you, if Nigeria exists in the next 50 years, eh? you will not, you, you, they're not born, you will make a step your feet in any African country. If you don't know the project, if you don't know the projection where why Nigeria is, a, is in existence. When Obama will tell you that the most Keep Nigeria one. You don't know the meaning. Keeping Nigeria one will destroy every soul in Africa while the American and Europe will be promoted. Keeping it one simply means keeping their program against African soil tight. 
That is the meaning of keeping. And that is what P2B is trying to do. P2B is trying to keep Nigeria one. He's trying. They have told him, help us keep, keep on distracting them. Keep on distracting them. Many evil politicians are agents of the Westerners, if you don't know. Because it is completely madness where you are not wanted. You are forcing yourself. Have you seen? I don't understand this particular thing. It's like now. I am talking to a, a woman. Maybe I see this woman. I love you. I like the woman. I like her structure. I like everything about her. Is it my duty to approach the woman? If I want anything from that woman, it is my duty to approach her. Ah. Woman, I like you. Can we become friends? And the woman looked at me and said, No. Then I made some attempt, more effort. Then I see that this effort is not yielding any good fruit. I said, Wise man, what do we know that uh, maybe you don't like the kind of your person? You walk away. And I said, Walk away. You have your respect. The woman will, be respect. You will respect you as well for respecting yourself and walking away. But that the way you will insist and insist, 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 this woman will be, will be looking at you as, is your head correct at all? And another thing, you will be looking at you as, this person is so senseless. Then you will not say, okay, 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 okay. I will, I will play game. That is when the woman will bring that mentality, I will play game over him, since he is insisting. That is when that relationship will cost you more. You will spend more and it will cost you more. Because why make it why is it costing you more? Because the woman is playing game with you and you will be at loose. Because he, she never wanted you. You are the one forcing yourself into her. So she will play the game and you will be the one to be tired about that game. You will lose. That is exactly what is going on about Ndibo now in Nigeria. Nigeria, I was never wanted them. Europe never wanted them. But they keep on forcing themselves, forcing themselves. In a political corridor, they force themselves. In religious corridor, they force themselves. In a traditional corridor, they force themselves. In society at a large, they force themselves. This part that the people whom the Westerners handed over destruction of Africa document to, which the Fana names. This part that they have even made mistake and play this hatred game openly, openly, widely, openly. Still, Igbo elders and the political elite are still are still forcing themselves because they have people controlling them in one place threatening them telling them if you go astray in this court we will kill you in this court we will do this when i have told them many times this illuminati they say they are entering illuminati 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 I think I took one of the this now what I said. Oh, oh, natural, oh, natural. Even the boutique, you people are the one you want where you will go and carry power. I said this Illuminati they are running in Nigeria. Many, many majority of you two are looking for the connection. I said, guy, look at the building here. The guy was looking. I said, he said, how do I? I said, look at the building here. I said, look at the building here. This is the building. Do you want to go? If you want to go, just stop. If you go there, just to walk into that into that building. If you walk into that building, you have discussion with them. The same game. Nandaziki will play this game.
Even the fun and they hand over Niger they hand over that destruction of Africa to in the name of Nigeria. They are tired. They are tired. Go and ask an average rich Funani man. He will tell you that they are tired. They are, because there is a life they live. That's why I use that animal of different food, consuming different food. Okay, now, do you see a man, a Funani man who married 11 years old girl? He's on media. The highest crime. The highest human abuse in this world is their own culture. The highest human abuse in this own culture, in this own planet Earth, what somebody can do, and in the next 20 years you will not come out of jail, is the culture of one particular people. Then you are not saying now that you want to associate and become in one nation with such people. And some pastors will come out and they will say, pray for one Nigeria. Let us be one. That God has bring us. So God will bring you with a pedophile together. So tomorrow, if that man kidnap your daughter as a senator, because now you say that God has joined all of you together, which means he has also right over your daughter to define your child. Your female child, your female child, kid you have in your hand you are still you are still taking them to bedroom to take to make sure teach them how to be hygiene so if that particular man came and uh, maybe and uh, you stop to kidnap that child and go and defy that child will you, will you now be able to sue that senator because this question was, yeah, are you will are you going to be able to sue them accordingly, according to abusing a child as a pedophile law? Are you going to know? The answer is no. Because you have associated yourself with what you don't like and what is crime now have become a custom, you have become a a a a, 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 a legitimate practice of particular people. And look at what is happening now. Many people don't they don't know the they don't know the atrocities going on in Igbo land. Do you know that there are many Igbo elders now sleep with children? The one that don't have access to their to outside other people's children, they will carry their own daughter and defy them. He am not back now what they like this. Many cases are down. Go and go, just oh, gee. what I'm seeing in research in, in the internet, you run away. Especially in in in, in, in Patapot. I don't know if he will case the one that brought this kind of spirit there. In Patapot now, in Patapot, many cases of father sleeping with their own daughter. Children, no, I'm not talking about grown up daughter. Children. A father of 40 something years, 50 something, sleeping with her own daughter of 14 years, 13 years, so the, because he has no access to other people's uh, daughter. So he has access to her, to his own. Because that, I, I want to say, Funani, you now want to be in one Nigeria. And Funani, and they are saying that Funani are married 11 years, 10 years. And he is not punished, even he is being celebrated. For marrying a child. So, by the time the man, the spirit of Funani will enter him, because that is evil spirit flying around. And now that you want, you say that you want to be in one association with that evil spirit, the evil spirit will, will definitely move around and enter everybody. So, when you look at it, you say, ah. So a man of 40 years or 35 years can sleep with a child of uh, 11 years or 10 years. Uh, he, he want to test it. So since he doesn't have access to test outside uh, another man's uh, daughter, he will use his own. Because when it happened, no, no arrest was made. 
those that call themselves human rights organization in Nigeria. No arrest was made, no demand of uh, condemnation. Everybody was afraid, nobody is saying anything. Everybody keep quiet. It's, it's, not, it's not my business. You see a man of something years go and carry a girl of 11 years. They had the, the if it is if it is in this country, 30 years is not out of jail. Go and ask anybody. 30 good years. If, let me tell you the secret. He will not come out of jail alive. That is how the whites do it. That is how they they will condemn him in a court. Maybe 25 years imprisonment or this. As soon as his leg enter that prison gate, as soon as they open that gate, he enter. He's not coming out again. Do you know why? Those he's going to meet there, they are they got they have television, they are watching every activities coming out from our side. That's why they give them television. They are watching. They have marked the man's face. If it is in this San Paulo state where the man committed the crime and the rest, of it, he's going to one prison. They know where they are taking him. All the prisons in that state, they have seen the picture of the man, they have seen the man name. Any prison he enter, the prisoners there have already noticed him. They know him. Immediately he enter, they will corner him one place. There is no pedophile that comes out of jail here alive. Go and tell the government will, they will sentence him, and that is why they know. As they are sentencing him, he is going to jail. He already know that he's not coming back alive again. It's better you carry gun, enter street and shoot people. You go to prison, you come out, you be a, you be alive and come out. But when it comes to define becoming a pedophile, you are not coming out. What they allow you in, the prisoners welcome you. They corner the person somewhere, use nylon and put in his head and suffocate the person. Sometimes they use foam. This foam that they use the foam and wrap the person, wrap the person, and wrap the person, and wrap the person. We know always the activity. They wrap the person, wrap the person, wrap the person. Put light and burn the person inside the prison. The prison authority will now come and take the person, and they will, they will write a report that the man did not. He was attacked. Prisoners like him attack him and kill him. Even as he's going, the family know that he's not coming back again. But it, 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 such thing happened in Nigeria. And the Igbo politicians want such people to be in the same country with their own children. Because it doesn't concern them. Do you know why? What they are there to make is their own private money. Because after all, uh, Yakubu cannot come and, for, come and carry his own daughter on the age to marry because the daughter is in America, is in Canada, is in Australia. They are, they are studying there where the law protect them. Even Yakubu demand for uh, his daughter hand the marriage of 12 years. Even fear will not even let that one approach him because he knows where the maker's uh, senator maker's uh, children is. In, even the Yakubu, who is a fan who like to sleep with children, know that in America a maker child is protected. Even within themselves, within themselves. He have already put his own children where law will protect them so that uh, no elderly man will come and marry the 14 years or 15 years. Those ones, they will grow as a complete woman before they get married. But because he, he now look for family of one funani, wretched family, and pick and buy the father Honda, Honda Accord. Build a house for, you know, it will change the life now. They have changed their life now.
That is why most of them. This is why when you see them that say, eh, we will make Nigeria, we will get, we will make Nigeria, we, Nigeria will be better. You think they are speaking for you? When you hear that language, these are the criminals. I told you that if you want to discover a criminal in Nigeria, in Africa, just see anybody who is talking about one Nigeria. That person is a hard criminal, is unrepentant criminal, born criminal. Anybody you see talking about one Nigeria, watch that person. Watch him. Don't just take close caption of that person. These are the tough criminals who have their conscience is dead. Because if you have a living conscience, what will be in your mind day in the out is how are we going to end Nigeria so that Africa will experience speed development? This is what will be what will be ringing in your mind, and that is why they know where IPOB is heading to. IPOB will not just come to liberate Biafra. No, no. We are coming to, we are here to liberate everybody. You see this family called IPOB? Martin Nandekano said, there have never been anyone like us and there will be no one like us after we have finished what we have come to do. Because I don't think that is any any group again God can empower and protect in this manner. I don't think that is any group again in Earth, in planet Earth. God can champion their their ship the way He's championing the ship of Abiyo. Do you know where Mulai Muhammad went to? He have gone many places. He have gone, entered many places. They, th they told him what he want us to do. We can't do it. Because even those you contracted to help produce results, they could not produce results. He was disappointed. That's why I may I make a statement I make. You see Butuzo, you see Butuzo, this guy that hope was them man is using, trying to use him and his group to destabilize our land. How many of you know that Butuzo is a hope was them my boy? These are the people they say they are fighting for free. We know though we know them. It is for the foolish people who does not know them. It is the, let me tell you, let me say it on camera now. It is the duty of IPOB. Leadership of IPOB should do everything in their means to make sure that this group of guys is captured and be sent the world beyond. Imme with immediately that anywhere they are hiding, except they are hiding them in the army barracks, because somebody gave me information. They say now. They are taking them to after the operation. They, they will they will go to barrack and stay. I said barrack. I said don't worry, and we will catch them one day. Yes, yes, and over to you, because we can't leave them to destabilize our land. Yes, and over to you. You know what to do. You know how to get them very easy. I'm saying it on camera now. Fish them out and flush them away. So that our land will be peaceful. Criminality, Mazen and the kind of medics as a warning. Criminality in the Afro land is highly prohibited. 
No, no, no. It's highly banned. If you engage on it, your family will lose you. It's as simple as criminality is highly banned in, in our land. That is why we must always warn ahead, warn you ahead. This is from this, this is from this, this is from this. You say no. Then you go down. They are demanding for heavy arm and sophisticated arm. Ask yourself a question. Is these people fighting the phenomenon that ESN is fighting? The answer is no. Can't you ask yourself something? What are they using the, those arms for? Have you heard one day they say they went for oppression to to sack some group of Funani who, who launched in one forest in our land? But yes, they are doing it. Sending them away. Have you had it one day? Have, uh, all those Urugranauts, this bullet, they say, where did you get bullet? Where? Have you, are they, are they pursuing Funani? As ESN is busy in many bushes, making sure that our bush are safe. Are they doing the same thing? The answer is no. Very common sense. Okay, what are they using the gun for? What are they using the bullet they are, they are securing for? They are using it to kidnap, kill, rob, do every kind of thing. And because they have the backup of some some evil politicians in our land. I think he's coming out now. Akwanye Fuagun. What Lion Man says earlier, immediately our leader was kidnapped. I know the game changed. I keep in to tell, tell all of you. Some people we are we are supporting blind. What surprises me is if 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 not that I am well rooted in Christianity, eh? The the caption, the the, the kidnap of Mazen and the Kano could have made me even reject Christianity. Do you know why? I mean, let me tell you. Thank God even most of our members here, they notice it, that I withdraw from, although I was engaged, but that does not mean that I cannot even find even two hours to go to church. Most of them, they will testify to do that. I withdraw from church because I withdraw. I'm a human being. Do you know why I did, I did, I did so? Do you know why I did so? Because I was looking at many pastors in IPOB. Most of people who fell victim, who were easily deceived into joining the camp of enemy against Biafra, they call themselves autopilot. Were majority of them pastors. Very shameful something. I'm a human being. I need to reason like human beings. So when I look at it one day, I look at myself. I look at myself. I call my girlfriend. I say I was discussing with her because she asked me. Know that I go to I frequent church. One day he called me. He said, "He said what is happening? I don't." He came to my place. I said, "Why am I not going to church like I used to go before?" I open up to her. I said, "Look at what is happening in this struggle of Biafra." She's from here, but I was explaining. You know, Something that you know that this man is always in this place. He always, you know, she know me. I said, no, let me, I said, let me look at that. I said, I was dodging it, dodging it. I said, let me open up for you. I said, do you know why I, I break a little bit? He said, he said, he, he looks strange to, to her. I said, okay. I said, this is the reason. I said, the reason is, in this struggle of Biafra to restore the nation of Biafra, we have pastors in our group, we have reverend fathers in our group, we have all manner of religious personnel in our group. But do you know that my funding, the funding that I did in IPOB, do you know that many people who are pastors are not joining group that is against Mazen and the Kano and the Biafra Strong. 
I did call one day. I called one of the pastor. I say, I intentionally asked him that because he's an IPOB member. I say, my good friend, how are you? He said, fine. We were talking. I said, I said, one name. Not from some of your posts. But someone I can't all they use. That boy I can't platform church here. And I knew that he's the owner of that account on Facebook. I said, I don't know. I don't hear the post. Are you in support of this guy? Or say me yes. So okay. Now I come to the confirm. Master, but say, what is their reason? I asked him, I said, what is your exactly reason why you are in support of him? He said, eh, those that sold mass in the can. I keep watching. I said, one name. Let him know a pastor and a prophet for that matter. It's a la fonce. I forgot to give the administration. It's a la fonce or like Brunde Madame. That's where I go. I said, so does it mean no rugola stage in Kana? I ain't got money in him. I know. I said, what is he what to use i just want to ask him i want to i want to draw his leg out i said what did you see in your prayer concerning the situation surrendering mazen and the canoe kidnapping this man a bit of cover rubbish or some in dos i said no if you are a true prophet, have you asked God those involved? I need, and at least a prophet, God will reveal something to you. I need those who involved. Can you tell me? I said, why I'm telling you this is because I have watched your platform in your church where you are ministering prophecy to somebody in your church. I said, one name, give me accurate prophecy. I said, okay, now let me do it this way. I said, let me give you the time to go and pray. I will call you in the next two weeks. Let me see what you find out. I dropped the call. I put reminder on my device, on my phone. That very day, the reminder, I said, what is this reminder for? I said, oh, this man. I wrote something there. I just go there. I called him back. I said, our discussion, have you prayed? Because you told me that you are going to mountain. That after you come to Monday, that you are going to communicate with me, I said, Have you prayed now? What did you see? What did God show you in that mountain that you went to concerning the incident that surrounded Mazin and the canoe kidnapping? You know what he told me? He said, God has risen another man who we finish the work of mass and the canon who will do this who will do this who will do that i kept him quiet after he finishes vomiting everything he vomited mark well i will not call the name i will not call the name of the church mark well here yeah. one now one knock and knock. Well, I don't like to even address us because the, most of them have rubbish that name. Pastor, prophet. No. He said, one name, ask me. He said, oh, I'm terrible. No, I'm terrible. He said, do you believe there are people who are naturally born prophet? These people, they don't need to fast. They don't need to, they don't need to pray. But there are something that self-discipline they will give to themselves that will make this gift remain permanent in them. But I, I, I told him another thing. Do you believe that prophet does not have prophet does not have business with order, with church? It's not only when you own church or clan altar that you become. A, do you know that there are many prophets? Even originally, prophet does not have business with gathering people. The only thing prophets need to do is to have a channel of communication to, to people.
to say this is what will happen this is what i see finish he said he said hey, but he must have an altar where people so that he will save life i said no i said do you believe what i'm telling you he said yes i said that's what i want to hear from you i said everything you said here now can i tell you the problem why why you said what you said the, the, I, I give that man shock of his life that very day. I said, I now put it to him how they are putting it to people. I did not, I did not pretend that day. I said, I said, in my vision, what I am seeing now, as you are talking to me, what I'm seeing you now, I see you. I see money changing hand with you in this group. I said, somebody have given you money there. He wanted to interrupt me. I said, I did not interrupt you when you are when you are discussing with me. I keep quiet and ask you questions and you are giving me your answer. And I keep quiet. I did not I said, don't interrupt me. Let me finish. I said, I see you taking money. Money have been changed hand. I said, how much are they giving to you? He wanted to turn it into core. I said, let me tell you something. I begin to name, I begin to give him names. I say, this name I am giving you now. This name I am giving you now. I say, go write them somewhere and write that. If by after they are at I say, let me tell you what will happen. I say, Master and the candidate don't need to come out before we know those involved or what happened. I say, from now to now, from this social time to social time, one of them will confess. That was the discussion I had before I came out and tell you that they will start confessing from April of that year. And the immediately ending of April, confession start. I told the man, I said, from now to now, they will confess. That is the first step. one of them who in the front line championing them we begin to misbehave they will confess that's what i told the man i said by all these activities then you will now know if you are a prophet or if i am a prophet or you i said one day from today i said i pity those who come you is coming to your church you are not a, you are just a hungry person i i told him openly i said so is that what how you people are manipulating people i said so if i'm not deeply rooted or spiritually inclined this is how you will come back into my box begin to come I said, this guy you see, look at what I saw. Look at the dream I had. This guy does not want even his prayers every day and night is how will man how will he get a report that he is dead? He said, God forbid, I said, shut up. But you are allowing God. You are praying, you are because joining him means you are praying for such as well. I said from social time to social time, this is uh, this is this is activities you'll be seeing, this is engagement you'll be seeing that will make you know that I am not your mate in terms of spirituality. Today, that man does not even have the even. He cannot even he cannot even call me. What is he calling me to tell me? How am I gonna walk a car and walk now? Even I was even preparing. I said any day he will call me, I will tell him one now. God, that's what I will say. I will call him one now. Wait, I want to prophesy for you. Yeah, prophet will prophet. <laughs> I said, I want to prophesy for you. Can go say that I won't hear your time. The final word I told you, I said, one name. 
go and hustle. Hustle very well. Make money and take care of your family. All of you should for all of you should leave this manipulation you are you are spreading in Africa. So, so this is why so this is what you have been doing going to inbox to inbox they give you money you're not going to inbox him just because of mere mere shout or mere cry of criminal that you see you know what they told me say the cry of Nelly Ofebu touches touches him that is why he went into prayer and God begin to reveal to him this and that, this and that. I said, so crocodile, crocodile tears of a criminal to confuse psychologists or to confuse interrogators is what makes you now begin to accuse people in the name of prophecy wrongly. I said, oh, now I know. I told, her, I told him, I said, I remember one certain time you were prophesying to one family in your church. I said, so this is the arrangement. I said, when people are saying that this is most of the thing that you see in Nigeria church, a movie of uh, this, I said, oh, so is this true? I said, so all this is you, you guys are doing is true. You will bring one person and pay him, you will now sit him down, be prophesying and prophesying, or two people prophesying, at the end of the day, church will close. All I sure. So all this is his arrangement. He did not talk till today. I told my girlfriend, I said, when I see that many people who follow this autopilot are pastors and the reverends and the this, I said, my spirit minister to me and say, so is that what Christianity is all about? Blind people. Later, because I, I, I used to, I, I, I pray very well. Later, I was praying. My spirit tell me, don't, don't, don't say, don't be angry. Don't be angry. All these events are happening so that you will know the real people in this umbrella. You will know, you will know, you will not be believing everything you see. And that was when I received, I said, okay. I said, maybe that, maybe that is it. How many of you know David uh, Kilimanjaro? What do you call it? Uh, David uh, something, Prophet David, the one that carried cow. Say, I want to give to Mazen and the can. Even all these, all these guys, do you know that all these guys secretly joined Autopilot before? But this is the first time I'm telling you this thing openly. All these guys secretly join. That what you see them that time on T. When I discovered that that man, because when I discovered that that man secretly joined autopilot, I became disappointed. I said, oh, I thought this man has the spirit of God in him. Have the spirit polluted, have, have them polluted the spirit. I was highly disappointed. I learned a lot too. You know, when this, you know, Mazen Nandekan said something. What we learn during this time of Mazen Nandekan looking now, eh? If those that will come to govern Biafra, because I have no business with that thing with politics. If those that we govern Biafra, we 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 learn we go back if they are not engaged now. I will advise them when Biafra is declared as an independent nation, those that will come into politics to first of all go and read the character of hardcore IPOBs. They should go and study the character of hardcore IPOB and study the character of this very leadership. Some DOS who remain strong. 
They should go. They will, this night I'm giving now is an expo. It will help those that will govern the Biafra nation, and Biafra will become the most beautiful and most protected nation. Because that thing, we, when they read the character of IPOB, maybe somebody should put book together. Maybe I will talk to our professor Nicola, our writer. He will put a book down. The character of hardcore IPOB. You make it as a book and keep it and keep that book available so for those who are coming in, as a politicians in Nigeria uh, in Biafra to read the book before they go before they come out to say they want to become politicians in Biafra it is very very important let them go and read the character of the hardcore IPOBs Because the kidnap of Mazen and the Khan opened my eyes more and more. And it took me to so deeper into some engagement, which I will not mention. Into some engagement, into some. I said, eh. Man must not live by emotion alone. And if you want to become a successful man and respected and had a dignity, you must do away with emotion. Bury emotion. In fact, don't let, don't let emotion come nearer to you. Reject emotion. Reject, reject it in totality. What is making the youth of these people, this trap, they trap everybody in Nigeria. What is making the youth, every time politicians will convince them, every time politicians will deceive them. Instead of them to them, remember what I said. I said, anybody that is not talking about referendum in Nigeria, that person is the enemy of the masses. Is the number one. Anybody that tells you that Nigeria will be great, that person is the, is your greatest enemy. But you see anybody that will tell you that the only solution to our problem is disintegration of Nigeria, let us come to the round table, let us conduct a, a referendum. If you see that person, yeah? as he takes Jesus Christ, if you're a Christian, the respect you give Jesus Christ, give it to him. Do you hear what I said? Can I repeat again? I say, if you're a Christian, Biafra, anybody that come and, and tell you that referendum is the solution to your suffering to all your all this in your unemployment you are no free hospital no education no no nothing no 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 job available no life is very hard the solution to all these things is referendum Anybody that will come and tell you that disintegrate Nigeria, conduct the referendum to disintegrate Nigeria, let everybody choose their own path peacefully. That respect you used to give Jesus Christ. Eh? That trust, that name. You know, okay, my, okay, you know that you don't know Jesus, but you, you believe in the name, right? Because it is belief. Nobody, I don't know him. Even my grandmother, they don't, don't know him. My grandfather, they don't know, they don't know him. My great grandfather, don't know him. <laughs> we are all believers. Believing is different from knowing. And you know that man because you know the man. If the man in the television, you know him. If I am the one talking it now, you know me through this thing. That respect you give that name. Let me not say that respect you give that name called Jesus Christ. Eh? Give it. Give it to that person. Give it to that woman. Give it to that man. That man is another salvation on earth. That's why when I look at Peter B, I say, Peter B, I never know that you are so wicked like this. And whenever somebody is disturbing, do you know that God is God Almighty? Hmm? Who created heaven and earth, and he has all the power in his hands. We all need, we all 
believe in that. Let me, say, no, let me not use wrong English. We all strongly believe in that, that he has all the power in his hands, according to the Bible. But that you know that there was one particular thing God does not take away from man. How many of you can suggest and tell me that thing? It is your decision. Decision of every human being on earth after God created man, he did not control the decision of a man. You allow your decision is so independent to the point that God has no business with your decision. How many of you know this? How many have any pastor if you listen to you? Decision of a man, God has no business with it. And there is nothing you will pray. You see, prayer. You pray and pray and pray and pray. Say, God, change the man's decision. No, you will not change it. God can. I said, God have no business with man's decision. God has no business with it. Man's decision is so mightily independent before the angels of God and God Himself. Now, good example. Let me give you proof why I said what I said. Dave Omai was given assignment to kill all the youth in his state that believe in Biafra. Dave Omai began to kill. He went into action with the assignment handed over to him. And before that assignment was handed over to Dave Omai, it was said, you are the next automatic next president because it is turn of Igbos. He was told that it is turn of Ndibo to become the president of Nigeria to the 2023 Igbo presidency. That was the agenda. That was the program, right? All of you have clearly forgotten. <laughs> 2023 Igbo presidency. That was the program. And therefore, mine was told by Britain and the Finani, kill every youth in your state that does not believe in one Nigeria. And therefore, mine did exactly what they told him to do. That he will be the automatic choice of Nigeria as a president. When Wike had it, when Wike got the information, Wike traveled to Britain, to UK, demanding for such for, for the same post. UK decision makers contact their managers in Nigeria, which is the finance. They went to Wike. They told me, are you interested in Nigeria president? They say, he said, yes. Under the platform of PDP, he said, yes. They say, okay, this is the game here. Kill everybody talking about Biafra in your state. Go after them and kill them and give us a result. Then that's where we will know that you believe in one Nigeria. You two believe in that. But we don't believe that you guys believe in one Nigeria. We can went into action and did exactly what they assigned him to do. They went to cross uh, River State. Ayode. They approached him. Uh, because that one gives a signal that he is interested. They went to him. Give us land. Give us Uruga. To show the proof to us that you are not deceiving us. You don't believe in Biafra secretly Why you believe in one Nigeria openly. This is what you will do. He did exactly. They went to Delta State and met 
Ifan Yoko. Because he gave them signal that he's interested. The same thing was applied to him. Kill every youth in there that I believe in Biafra. Ifan Yoko went into work immediately. Then, in the decision of Funani, anything called the Easterners can never smell that place again. Because that was warning, sounded and given to them by the Britain. Britain told them that, man, Jonathan, you, you put there was the greatest mistake. I say cross river state, I did not say river state, uh, Joseph. I know where they can, I know what I'm talking about. River state is, uh, is, uh, is, I say cross river state, go and check the word again. Then, this thing continue. That is why, when the time mature, they did their job on the ground so that nobody will see it as a hatred game. What did they do? They pull Devil Mine and lure him into APC. They, they left Wiki in, in the PDP. Then they came back again. They went to Data and told Ifani to come into APC. If I was in consideration of going to APC, Signa came to him. He, he stepped back. He stepped back. He did not. Then, the British told them that we need to put a Funani man in PDP. That was when they meet with Atiku. Atiku went back to PDP. They positioned Atiku there. They came to APC, positioned these ones there. But something happened in APC. If they don't even want, what they wanted to do, they don't want any Westerners and the Easterners to come out from the political group, the place of contesting this thing. They want to, they want to, flush all of them through uh, party primary. They brought article and put in PDP, brought this one and put in APC, brought this one and this and this that. Then that was when they will know that, yes, do you know who did that? Thing? Do you know why God allowed the decisions of the finalists to take to stand? in that particular moment because when something is due eh, even when they are making mistake they will make that mistake very open they will show all they are hidden that thing they have been hiding they will be showing it openly finally show it to Igbo politicians openly complete then if these people are really for us what they're supposed to do that time all of them will come home and make meeting and say, okay, let us demand for referendum. Because we can we have seen now that these people we don't want fight. So let us demand for referendum and break and if they have done that, that is where they would break the hand of Britain, break the hand of those concerning Finanese. Then I was in this platform shouting and say, Do you want to stop nonsense? And I was addressing the people politicians, but they don't know. I said, do you want to stop this nonsense going on in Nigeria? Demand for referendum. If you demand for referendum, you will see Britain coming to... You, you see them? You see Britain, they will come and lie down. You do you know, prostrate, they will be prostrating to Igbos. If you demand for referendum, you will see those Finani that they think that they have arrived. You will see all of them prostrating for Igbos. 
You will see that. I think you are the one going to them and uh, kneeling down. The, the, you will see them crawling on the ground, following you, telling you, uh, we can do let, okay, let us settle. Let us do it this way. Let us do it. If, but moment you say one Nigeria, we will make it better. That is when you carry promotion and be given to Funanis. That is when you carry everything and be given to the Funanis. Or knowing to you, foolishly doing it. And they show them this thing, what the Peter B did. Peter B just his 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 members of the court called him. Because they have seen that they need somebody to deceive those who have realized their mistake. Because that action eh, carried out by 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 Funani exalted IPOB. He lifted he lifted mass and the cannon so high. He lifted, despite him being in their hand, he lifted him so high, serve the zoo and come back in shame. He lifted him so high, he will not open eyes of more millions of even known Biafrans. He opened their eyes. Ah, now we know what this man has been saying, Mazen Nandekan. Immediately they see what is happening. They called this guy in the UK. He told him, come over, come over. They told him, what do you want? Everything you want in this life, we will give you. But we need you to help us sustain one Nigeria. They asked them, how will he do it? He said, just go there and distract them. Let me just go there and distract them. He told them that all the platform that is capable for him to do that, they have hijacked it. Funana have taken it. That is when he ran into labor. Start deceiving, deceiving innocent youth. Start deceiving innocent youth. P2B is not a baby in politics in Nigeria. P2B can tell you properly that election is not count in Nigeria. Election is decided by the INEC. You see that line you are killing there? You are just a mistake. Uh, maybe, you know, you know, these people, they are animals. This, anybody that comes in Nigeria is an animal. If not, there's something that will, you will see them. Next election, all of them, they will still go and kill. Despite now being clear to them that all those long queue they are standing in the sun and the rain is normal, what they should be doing is just tell us who is the next governor of Lagos State. Finish. Just bring your candidate. Tell us that uh, we, uh, this one have finished. We just uh, we just have, we just put one person is a governor now. That is what should be doing in Nigeria. The same thing. They no, they should not be engaging in election. They just come to other state and say. This man is the new governor of other state. This one is... And stop, and stop stressing the people. Stop stressing the people. Stressing the people is the highest wickedness you can... You are stressing somebody that you know that you have nothing to offer to him. And you know that what you are calling him to engage in is, is irrelevant. Why are you stressing him? Why are you stressing her? Telling her, go and vote. Vote for what? What are you voting? And we are here telling you that vote does not count. And they happen. What did I told you? I say, you see the word, never mind, told you about nothing will happen, no, no, no power can stop for swearing. You are going to see the man they are going to swear in. Tunubu is dead. He's gone. Tunubu is not on our life. He's dead. He's in, they just leave him in Kumo, in France. And he's, he's complete. I'm saying it now openly. I have 
I have tweeted, I have made it, but I'm saying it now. Open the broha. Tinubu is dead, he's gone. I knew he would not make it. And I told you, I said, this man cannot make it. And he didn't make it. He is gone. You are going to see the man they are going to swear in. You are going to see the person, the picture you are going to swear. Let me call it picture. You are going to see the picture they are going to swear in. You see this Peter B. Court case is just, it's just nonsense. It's irrelevant. They have already told the Supreme Court uh, this thing, chief what to do. The British have told them, don't anchor that case. Just keep on. Pro you will see now. They will postpone that case, postpone that case until the man is swearing. Peter B. knew. And they have paid him for that. Peter B. knew. Peter B. is agent that is. What they just sign him just distracts those who we revolt because Nigeria youth before what they wanted to do is if it is article they put there Yoruba youth and the Biafra youth will team up. Well, let me tell you the game they play Yoruba youth and the Biafra youth they will team up and carry out the heaviest revolution that have never existed in this world and they will win. Do you understand what, what happened there? They knew everybody with they would team up. That is why they say no, don't announce article. Please, if you do that, even that there will, there will, there will be no delay in the disagreement of Nigeria. So let us announce from the West to divide them. Well, I told you, I told you all everything that will happen before it happened, and all of them happen. I told you this is what they will do. They know that Tinubu, because that injection that we are giving him during the time of that campaign, that injection is very dangerous injection. Many people does not know that injection. It's weak, so they will put that injection. That injection only lasts for twelve hours. They will put another one, and when they were pumping this thing, you know what did that injection always do. That injection is for the injection they're giving him is for the, the injection they give the weak, the wounded army in a war front. You know, wounded somebody in a way, maybe you receive a bullet wound, you are very down. So they will inject you in that in a war front to sustain your energy. So that thing will make you feel that you have. No pain, you know. You'll be after 12 hours again, you will receive another one until they fly you back to base. They take you back to base where they will where you will receive proper treatment. And when they return you to back to base, they will first of all use drip to flush that particular injection out of you. But that injection, that injection has it has bad infection. Because they, they use the gesture to energize your system to so that that wound will not weaken you until you, you get solution for treatment. If it is three days, you will be there before they come and take you. That is how you'll be receiving that injection. Two, 12 hours. That was the injection they are giving to Tunubu. I told someone I said, this thing they are doing to this man. This thing they are doing to this man. After they would like to go and take, give him proper treatment, and that is where he will give up. That was what happened to the neighbor. After the election, after everything, they've got to just make it, okay, manage, 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 we are going to. So they went for proper treatment, his health proper hauling, and they gave up. That time you are seeing him, Nigeria media are making mockery of him. He talk, you know, he cannot hear what he's talking. His tongue is trying to gum him together. Anytime that thing happened to him, whenever that medicine, when that, that injection is going, you have gone, have discharging. If they don't notice it on time, maybe that is when he is talking. They have never seen chance to go to and take another one. So his tongue will be weakening even he can now raise his tongue. That's why we see him that time misbehaving. It was a reaction of the that injection. 
I knew I, when I told I said most of the things I tell you is not about is that thing is not is is something that I have I got the information then I will use it and say it as a word. I told I said this man will die before swearing in. And he died. I said, this man will die before swearing in. And he died. You are going to see the man there. You see, what the woman told you, take it or leave it. Nothing will stop swearing Tunubu's picture, image in. Not him. Tunubu's image will be swear in. Because now it is turn of France to rule Nigeria. Britain have done it with picture of Bugari. Now, that is why I say, fight we break out. You will see what will happen. Bigger things are coming. All of you prepare. Bigger things are coming. Bigger things are coming on your way. Because I don't think, you know, Britain, Britain they are very greedy. They are very greedy. You know, Britain, they are very, their name is greed. British are very greedy. You will see now. Because the fight is still going on on the ground. The fight is still going on on the ground. Their fight is still going on on the ground. And that is what is deceiving. For those that copy to be and sign him to go and play the game, they are now in consideration. They were not telling no. Instead of Boko Haram to become president, because Shetima, that is, you, you see how they succeeded in giving terrorists full blown power. Because who is coming to Asurok is Shetima. Who is going to Asurok is Shetima. There are some few elders of crop, Yoruba people, will be the beneficiary of this picture. You are going to see who they will, who they are going to swear in. You are going to see the young in the way he will he will, he will be intentionally you know doing as if it is him, but wearing his mask. You are going to see who, who is coming to swear. Even by mistake, you will make a move that all, all of you will understand uh, no. And that very day, you are going to see the distance. That very day, you are, nobody, no, except the managers of that that mass, nobody will come near. Nobody will come. Even some evil politicians, they will not allow them to come near. Or except those who who who, who know what happened. They are going to even camera, you are going to see the camera, how they are going to put the camera on this thing. The, the camera they will zoom in very far. You will ask yourself, hey, when which kind which kind of female be this? And in that inauguration, in that particular uh, uh, distance, that very day, you are going to say what? Not all the channel will be allowed. The channel that will come there that very day is selective channels. Go and write it somewhere. May selective. What does say? Selective federal government of Nigeria. They will announce it. They will make it official announcement that. They will give one excuse. Maybe they will tell you we don't want too much. It's going to be in a, the inauguration is going to be in a low key because we don't want to waste money for this and that. That is the excuse they're going to bring. It's going to be in a low key. So therefore, we will not want too many channel reports to come. But these are the listed ones. Oh, somebody should write it. What I'm telling you now, what somebody should write it down. Somebody should write it down. This particular announcement will be published ending of this month or the first week of next month. Ending of this month or first week of next month. You are going to see it on paper. On the news feed. Then there you will understand, you will know that a lion man have gotten information that this man is dead through through. I say, but at the end of the day, you go to play, you go to see him. You go to play, you go to see him. Finally, 
I want to show, you see the man that have run to to Labour Party in Imo State as a person who is coming to call the, that man is who pose of them man. The man is who pose of them man. The man is who pose of them man. That is, if I'm not saying is second who pose of them man, I say that man is who if, if, even worse than who pose of them man. When we told you that all these political parties you see in Nigeria, they are all criminals. All of you say that's why I don't I don't like I hate people fool, fooling themselves. I hate people fooling themselves. Stop fooling yourself so that you have a good life. People fooling themselves is very bad. When you fool yourself, you will bear the pain of that particular action of yours. Because wait, I want to show you something. I want to show you guys something. Where is this thing? I want to show you guys something. You see this man here? Oh God, I'm coming. No, no, no. I want to get this picture very large. Well, I'm coming. I'm coming. I want to get this picture very bold. Just save this picture there. Okay, let me go to my let me go to my Facebook. Since I didn't see where I saw it, let me go to my Facebook and bring it out. Let me go to my Facebook and bring it out. Yeah, you see this man. Do you see this man here? Take a look at this man very well. This is Labour Party candidate of governorship candidate in Imo State. Go to my wall, you will see this logo, Labour Party. You see this man, General Lincoln Ogunewe, retired. <laughs> this is a pure finale. Do you see how they are manipulating all of you? Now they have seen that uh, APC is a condemned party. They have seen that PDP is a condemned party. Now Funani have brought him. Britain have brought this one to come and give you under Labour Party, P2B. Do you see? Do you see all of them? Do you see P to B? We are praising for them to allow this animal. For them to that's to, to tell you that what every IPOB is telling you, anything that IPOB tells you, eh, is real. We can't deceive you. For them to allow this man to come and take their ticket. Do you see that? What we are saying, all of them are the same. All of them are the same, no different. Even this man is worse than all Jews of Khan. This man is worse than Hopus of them. Man. This man is worse than Wiki. This man is worse than uh, what do you call it? Devil Mind. See where they deceive all of you. They just chucking him there so that you will go stupidly. Man, we prune brain. So you will just go there stupidly, you vote him, say you vote Labour Party. Look at them. Look at them in Labour. Do you see them? They have no dignity. They have no dignity. 
they have no interest of you in their heart. All of them, both Labour, both APC, both PDP, both every political party in Nigeria have no. The only interest they have in their mind is how to help the Britain and the Finan and the France to sustain Nigeria so that to keep Africa down. As far as they can buy housing abroad, they can send their children abroad. Chicken and finish. That's what they want. This man here, this man here, this one, Labour Party. Oh, I'm gonna go out to go vote Labour. <laughs> go vote them. When I told you that Britain and the Finnish, by the time they finish playing game with you, in your next life, in your next life, you have you will before you come, you ask God, God give me give me sense so that I will come back. I'll come back again. The, the, the other time you send me, you, you send me with that sense. See this man. <laughs> this is that is a death trap for all of you. This one. Go, go, Imo, Imo, Imo straight. <laughs> when I, when I give, when I, I dreamed 2016, 2018, when Imo State self never bring, uh, when Imo State self was not on fire. How I many of you remember my dream that I explained to those who have been following me from this, this year? On many, what, I, what did I say about Imo State? Even there was no danger that time when I said it. It was somebody who reminded me that thing. Is it a few weeks ago? He said, that young man, I watched one of your programs in 2018. I was coming and see where you were shouting him was that you look at what God showed you your dream concerning him. I told you I was in a dream. And I was taken to Imo State completely. This is I know this is Imo. And I was standing there. I was discussing with men. Just, you know, just something like dream, just like physical something. But I don't know them. They were telling me that they, they are going to punish. You say here, there are too many, you know, most of you don't know this record. Igbo State has the highest reverend fathers. In the whole of Igbo land, Imo State has the highest pastor in the whole of Imo land, in, in the whole of Biafra land. How many of you have this record? <laughs> they have the number of the most, the highest number of pastors and have the highest number of reverend, reverend fathers and sisters. It's from Imo State. The highest. Role. I was in that dream in 2018, and I said it in my mind. What did I say? I would say, so that if it happened, you will come make your addresses and say, oh, there are people who are gifted indeed. At least 2018, Igbo State is still quiet. Maybe even when I said it, I say, and I, in that dream, I was, there were men, men surround, surround me, a strange man, I don't know them anyway, I, don't, I can't even recognize them. And I was told that here produces the men who, that's what I hear, produce the men who call themselves ministers of God. But I am going to punish this place. Because they don't regard me. In that dream, I ask again, I say, where to? Did you say here produce men, they call themselves ministers of God, but they don't give you the guide? I said, why? He said, I'm going to punish them. And I said this in my media that year. You know, sometimes I say, I don't send. You know, many people will, they will become angry, you know, because of our mentality. Instead of them to go and look for a solution. 
most of them become angry. I know how many people that called me that time after that program. They called me that very day. I made that program. That program was anchored one, is it one Saturday? Then I begin to receive call. Say, na egala amake egala say present to Obu. And immediately the person that called me, I shown him. I said, this is not personal something. This is, I told him my dream, are you mad? This is what I dream and I said, and I said it the way it is. You are telling me to mind, how? Oh, oh. And he, he's playing now. Remember when Father Baka confirmed, he said, who opposed them? And I said, Baka, why did you allow Satan to use you, to bring you a picture involved in this issue? I say, ah, Mbaka, who do this thing to you? Many people will say that thing. I say, Mbaka, who did, who, why? Because I knew Mbaka, that it was not spiritual. Mbaka see nothing. Mbaka was paid to do that thing. They wanted to use him and he beat them, price he got, he paid, they paid. But along the line, they, 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 they disappoint him. Even the money that was abused, they did not pay that money finish. I'm telling you. Remember what I said? I said there is one sin. Every man sins. Because there is one particular sin you engage, that sin will flog you until you grow old and die. The only sin that Mbaka will ever live to remember all his life is that sin of Imo State. Do you, what, do you hear what I said? The only sin that we flog Mbaka secretly all the rest of his life till he grow old and depart this earth is that sin of Imo State. That is every man has this record. There is one particular sin you will always remember in your life. Spy. Anytime you stay as a man, you will remember that particular. You have maybe you may have done all the biggest sin, all the biggest error, but that one particular one, you will live to flog you. Spy. God have mercy. You will say, ah, God have mercy for me doing this. That's one particular thing that Mbaka, Mbaka messed up. He messed up there. He really messed up there. But that is for him and his God. He know how to communicate with his God and God know how to show him grace towards that particular act. That is what I want to say. I told them, it's not, somebody called me and said, I, I remember when he said this thing about Timo State, and now he's playing. Because that time, maybe that dream came. Tell, remember what I told you. When the voice I received, they said, from, to, from henceforth, anything concerning Nigeria and concerning the integration of Nigeria that will better the life of everybody, I will hide it from this man that have position themselves as God over me. I will not forget that voice. 2017. I am angry with this man because they have no regard for me anymore. They are not parading themselves as God. They are representing themselves as me. They don't have fear of me anymore. They don't fear God. And when immediately I hear that voice, I begin to watch the activities of some pastors in Nigeria, some all these mega churches in Nigeria. Their character change, or it's like Satan entered them immediately. Their character change. They begin to parade themselves as God indeed. Their character change. Sometimes if I see them moving, when they come down, they will be, I say, this is what that God, this is what God is referring to. And believe me, today, 
none of them have gotten any revelation from God on, on the issue of way forward. This revelation only come to IPOB members, even... Okay, look at the incident of Mazen and the kind of kidnap. The lady who reviewed it 2019, 2019 November is a Bini, a Bini lady who lives in Germany. A Bini lady. The, 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 the brokers, I made that time that it, she called in and because she called me. I was at work when she called me. And try to I said no. I said my sister, this is, is a revelation, and I would like you to come up in a program to tell the Biafra by yourself. Which I was anchoring program that day. I told her to call in because such thing on your own I am not interpreter of, uh, of of any revelation. I said you use your hand and said and that, that lady called in that program. And say, you know, she used broken pidgin English and say it, which is to the understanding of everybody. After all of us have forgotten that dream, that dream got manifested in 2021. Everything he said, everything, sorry, everything she said was exactly what happened. That was where I confirm. I say, so God, you say this thing, and you you reveal this thing to me that you will not be showing anything about, and it is, or you will not be showing the things that will happen or to ordinary people. He said they surround him in one African country. They say, "Sebi hand, they don't catch you now." And immediately, he says she saw Chikedozim and some giant, giant men, they went to rescue him. <laughs> Isn't that what the, what the lady said in that program? He said later, she saw, it's only Chikedozim she, she recognized his face. He says she saw Chikedozim 2019, you know, She saw Chikedozim, then some giant, giant men followed him. He said, they went there, fight begin. They begin to fight, to fight. He said, the fight was so, so brutal in that dream, she carried her child. She was running with her child. He said, fire was everywhere. Fire everywhere was so hot. He said, everybody was trembling. She said everybody was trembling. But the men that follow, he said the men that followed Chikadozim was so giant, the fight became so tough. He said the fight became so tough. The only man, one man, she mentioned his name in that program, in that dream, which is Ifan Yoba. The type is there. He said. It, it said if Anupa was the one that invited Mazen and the Khan to that African country in that dream. 2019, she said it on program. They, they were discussing. Men now come behind if Anupa and say, Nande Khan, and they don't catch you now. So if you say you'll be this, and never catch you. Now here we got. He said if Anupa start laughing, say, you see your life, and don't catch you. But that was the first they show for her in that dream. Room. But in this case, in this case of kidnapping, those who arrange it, we know them. But we will not mention it. <laughs> we, know, we, we know them. We know them. We know them. We are not calling anybody name. That was the dream she saw 2019. I'm explaining before now what I am here. I'm here. I broke now. Well, I said this is fine about no. Now I said the dream a Bini lady had 2019 about the incident to uh, the incident that took place 2021. That is what they call 
revelation. Pure revelation. She's not a pastor. She's not an evangelist. She's not an uh, apostle. She's not a prophetess. God has many channels to show his, his vision. Not only, he doesn't have, it's not only business of author. So that time that God showed about punishing of Imo State, that's why I said it from media. What did I say? I said, all the Reverend Fathers, since God showed show me in that they say that they have the highest numbers of those that call themselves ministers, I said, there's some assignment I give that time. I said, let them come together. I don't know the activities, maybe they have engaged in another practice that God is angry. I said, but I will advise them to come together and amend their ways or pray for their own state. Oh, a mentality in Africa. That's why I like white. That is a word we sell in media. There are people who manage top people from media. They will pick it up. Like a, like a killing of innocent children in school that happened here a few weeks ago. May the soul of these innocent children rest in peace. May, the soul, may their soul rest in peace. Very painful. Imagine you drop your children on school and you are in your office, the only call you will hear is emergency call, come, 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 only to get there. A child that you take to school is because have dropped dead by one nonsense person. A serial killer went into school here, massacre children, massacre the children. Massacre children for nothing. Do you know the pain, the pain of the parent losing their child they take to school? But they are so rest in peace. Very painful. Do you know that that incident? A woman saw it here. A woman, a woman, a Brazilian woman who has a TikTok. The woman used to see, if you see something, she will say it. She said it. Thank God that the police, police general confirmed it. The woman said it, but they, they did not take, uh, police did not do their work. <laughs> the woman said, you see where, you see, you see one mental prep person entered into school. Start killing children. He says she saw it on her dream, but that she's confused. She even went ahead and said security should be at a lot. But probably, you know, I don't know the problem of this world. Maybe, do you know why they did not respect that, that revelation? Do you know why the police did not do their work and start blaming themselves? Because people say, didn't you see that this woman said many things that this woman have said in her platform always come to pass? Because you know why? The woman is not a pastor. The woman is not a reverend sister. The woman is not a evangelist. Is not a um, bishop, bishop. <laughs> According to that, she's not. She's an ordinary person who she's doing her own thing. You used to come on media, you will do, 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 you will tell you, do this, do this, do this, do this. No, just like that. And it's a popular woman. Because of that thing she's doing all these many years, she has become popular. But if it is universal bishop, that one church they call universal, very, the mega, one of the mega, mega church in this world. If, you know, it's from here. If it is universal, all assemblies of God uh, general here that say that thing, all police will be at all of them will be at work. <laughs> Do you know why God keep on telling, making this thing this way? Sometimes there are people who will begin. Maybe God will give you a little gift. Begin to parade yourself as God. It also, God is a, does not. 
is a, not not only is a jealous as God. God is too jealous. Jealousy is the second name of God. If you don't know, he jealous so much that he don't he don't he hates people. If you want to prove yourself to be over him, he will destroy you. He will he will he will switch off that key that is making you going above him. Look at the history of uh, Egypt. What they want to build the tower, the Lord, the tower that is going to they want to go and meet God. What did he do? It caused confusion among the engineers. They begin to speak their own different language. There are people who are speaking one language. Bring block, this one we hear. Bring cement, this one we hear. Bring iron, this one we hear. But immediately they have that dream that they want to go and meet God. What happened? He, he confused them with language. This one we say bring block. This one we go and bring a nail and come. This one we say bring a cement. That one we go and carry iron. Confusion. They begin to fight themselves. That building collapse. <laughs> so so you can until you will st you study how God behaves, you respect yourself. They didn't take this name, this name. All these ones I mentioned, their church now, they are already arriving at the point that uh, they are <laughs> they are supreme God. Now they are in fact they are they are they are seeing themselves as God. But look at God. Okay, I, because if He tell them they said it, a police will go to job immediately. They will go and position themselves in the front of all the schools, waiting for that thing to come. But that's why they are white. Even the police general blame themselves. They say they got the information. They even they show them the video of this woman, but they never take her serious that this thing will happen. The same woman that said that time fraud happened, that, that all these Epilima Nigeria ministers use as uh, to boost their ministry, that uh, Brazil assaulted uh, Jesus Christ. That's why flood, flood have carried everything. Flood that happened many years ago. Many years ago. They went and brought it and doctor it. Because they always want something they will use to boost their, their 419, their manipulation. And that was, that was film. That film was referring to white supremacy the actor that acted that thing is here is in this brazil they want to end white supremacy that was what they did that thing they did that was not they were not mocking christ they said they painted christ as as white why they painted devil as black so they say okay the actor did that film to defeat for the white to, for the white supremacy to be defeated that was what that was the film <laughs> that was the film film that all of us knew i watched the film i do i watch it and the, after that film the art of god promoted of that film The film is all about white supremacy. To end it, to end it so that the world will balance. But look at uh, somebody that called himself a black man who is a reverend father, who is a pastor, who is an apostle, standing in his altar. So he, he, that is why somebody now brings the picture of where something they painted white. He's standing on top of a black, black uh, something they painted black. And that, and the person posted it and said, "I think this one is okay." <laughs> it's, I, I, I love our people. And the person who painted that thing is an Igbo. Is an Igbo person. He said, "I think this one is okay. Are you satisfied now? At least white, white, white Jesus is marching on the black <laughs> devil now. Are you are you okay?" And all of them keep quiet. I went to the comment section. One, some people who are saying, "One now, now you come." They will, at least they will like this one. Very useless set of people. 
Yeah. Since they use the white something, white painter, take do example of crushing and destroying white supremacy. A whole pastor who from Asia, a whole pastor who from Igbo land, a whole pastor who from Yoruba land, begin to use it to confuse his member that why must something depicted black be drawing something depicted white on the floor? You see the mentality of them. Very foolish set of people. Very, very mental direct people. I like what that guy did. He now constructs something and paint it white with a sword, with a sword, with sword on his hand. Then he now painted something black and put it on the floor and asked them, I think this one is okay now. There are mad people. Eh? Since he said your color is good to be defeated always. Another person color. Now you hate yourself. You know, it is called safe hate. I love what that guy did. But many people who understand that art understand it that yeah, this guy is intelligent. Oh yeah, and the safe hate, oh yeah. I think this one is okay. Let me tell all of you. Let me tell all of you. Stay clear from this man. See this man? Stay clear from this man. Stay clear from this man. This man. See this one? This one is a dead. Is 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 to, uh, which dead? Uh, this is atomic. This one is massive man. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do they say they see in Iraq at that time? Mass destruction weapon. This one is more than mass destruction weapon. You, you see where they go hide him inside labor. All of you inside labor. Because they have known that all of you are very foolish. You don't look you don't look personality. All I heard that what they did in this election that uh, 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 this man uh, uh, ring this INEC chairman ring that I, all, all, almost all the whole youth, all the whole Nigeria what they want to see is labor. They see labor. They don't know. They don't want to know who is there. They just press their hand. You see. This, you see this. You see what they did. Do you see what they did now? Since all of you are pressing hand in umbrella of labor, in that uh, symbol of labor, now they went and hide this terrorist here. Look at him. They went and hide him. Because who knew this breed? They went and choking this one here. And the Labour Party chairman have collected the money. All, all, all of them are the same. Peter will be all of them are the same. What they want is money. Give them money. They can, they can testify the goodness of Satan. If he give an average man, uh, black man, money, he will, if, if, let me tell you something. You see some of our pastors. Give, just pay one billion dollars inside your account and tell and tell him come pastor come is there any way you can present devil before your congregation just just you know they, they believe you the pastor will say yes he said eh, just tell them that devil was not a sinner but uh, you know just a little misunderstanding with god uh, just small thing you know just just know how you can bring it in and convince this large congregation of yours, they will shut him in. Believe me, the next someone, eh, if that pastor is a black man, if he don't present the devil and tell you and tell you before congregation the the goodness of Satan, if you see me come a bastard. I know, I know. You see this. You see this Abakolo. I know, I know, I know our problem. Our problem is that we don't understand what is called money. And we don't understand what is called character in terms of money. They never know that character is more powerful and more 
sustainable and more comfort to society than money. Ask yourself, why is everybody suffering in Nigeria where people have billion pack in their warehouse? Does that money so stop suffering? But ask yourself, where people does not even have cash in their position here and abroad, but everybody is living peacefully, everybody is living comfortably because of what? Character. Money can never give you joy. What brings joy to you is character. It's character. It's character. I have sounded the warning again now. Imo. Ndimo. Look at him there. Look at him very well. Come on. Come. All of you should go and vote for the Labour. Because uh, Abia has voted Labour. They are now seeing that Labour is the one now that's going to. They don't want they don't want stress of ringing anymore. Do you understand me now? You don't understand the game now that they want to play them. Because this ringing is becoming a mockery issue against them that believe in one Nigeria. So now they have changed pattern. You see where they bring this terrorist and put this terrorist, this woman harvester, organ harvester. Do you see why they, they carry him now and ch chuck him? Do you see why I say they don't have they don't have they don't they don't have dignity, like even Labour Party. They will always disappoint you. Look at all the whole youth now that believe in labor now. Labor have started their own. They have started their criminality. Because only God knows how much million and billion they receive from, from Funani. Because Funani have approached them. Give us lot. Because we don't want this stress of ringing anymore. Give us lot. Give us give us lot. Let us. This is our own agent. How much do you want? Maybe Labour Party chairman may even bid them five billion. If I tell you that this man now that this man you see here now, if I tell you that the funan did not pay less than five billion to the Labour Party chairman, you may think I'm lying. Not a million, I say billion. They will just long, they'll just carry carry a van and just or change it in dollar and give to the Labour Labour Party chairman. And P2B will get share from here. Because P2B, they say, is the, P, is the booster, booster of uh, Labour Party. He boosted the Labour Party. So everything, every money coming in here, he has his own share. And he will come here. Go and mark my word. P2B will come here and go and endorse this man. This is where you will catch P2B. I have, give, I have given you guys another assignment to carry. Now, proof to tell you that P2B is working against your comfort is this man. If you see P2B behind this man, then you will confirm my word. It is coming. That is where all of you catch it. Eh, what I pop have been saying about this man is true. This man is not a good man. He will come. Look at him here. Look at him here. They have already got to Mbaka to, uh, to speak to Mbaka. Mbaka, Mbaka pursued them. <laughs> you know? They went to Mbaka last two weeks about this man. Mbaka drive all. Mbaka pursued them. Mbaka said, please, so. My politics in Hama will go to Japan. I brought before, before. Yeah, yeah, now he go made the advert. Ocho, 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 three hacker. You pursue them. My hemicola am involved because my hagaba. From me, from here. 
I say God bless you all for joining this very broadcast today. Tomorrow, I will come earlier on oh, air tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the special grace of God, maybe 8 p.m. Biafra time, I will be on air. I don't. I can't post it that I'm coming on air. I told you what my Facebook have been battling. Most of you who know about social media, we know. We understand what I'm saying. My Facebook follower since 2017, it has been what? 17,000 17, followers. Till now. <laughs> it doesn't move from there. Facebook, they are suppressing my post. Even this broadcast I'm making now, you may see the, how many viewers, but at the end of the day, you will go to almost all the social media world and platform. You will be seeing 1,000 and something share. But it can never reflect, it can never reflect on my own. It can never reflect on my own. Me and Facebook, that is how they projected my Facebook, and it, it, it make it be like that. We must continue to preach the good news. They know those who are for re Biafra. They know who those who are the hired. Because they are all they know. Every re Biafra in this struggle. That is how they projected our Facebook. No problem. We agree. We did there. <laughs> we did there. The most important thing, one, one thing we have in common is our goal is what? Biafra. Our destination is what? Biafra. That is all. Either they conduct a referendum or if they choose the way of war, we are also ready. Because this is how I sound and this is how it should be sounding. Because sometimes when you are demanding a war of peace from your enemy, your enemy will think that you are afraid of him. Or you are not capable of engaging them in confronting them. But you have to tell them that you want the war of peace because you value lives of innocent souls. That is all. We keep on saying it. Either Britain and the Funan want peaceful disintegration of Nigeria, or they choose the war of war, we fight the war. They will die, we will die. Then we will take what belongs to us. So God bless you all. He must take youth over to all of you. He must take pastors and reverend sisters and the reverend fathers over to all of you. Another assignment is here again. You have the power to do it, but if it's for because of money and your selfish interest, you choose to you choose to do otherwise. It's left for you. It's there for you. Yeah, uh, Vit. Uh, yeah, Vit. That is what I'm. That's what we are talking about. 17, 17 follow uh, viewers. But when you go to other some other platform that will replay this broadcast, or if you go there, you will be seeing one thousand something from tomorrow. You will see one that you will be surprised. Why is this thing? I have written them. Their response is always annoying. I've I've written. Why is it like this? At times, if I post now that I'm coming on air tomorrow, if they see that post, the broadcast will be attacked. You see this broadcast how it come because I came late. I did not announce it. So that's why I stop announcing my broadcast. If you see me online, you take it that I'm on live. If you don't see me, you know that I'm not on live. So tomorrow, even. This one I said it now tomorrow. They have already marked the hour, so I will I will know what I will do tomorrow. Maybe either I come more earlier or I come more late. <laughs> God bless you all. Mechiko uh, Kukabia may be with all of you and guide and protect you, provide for all of us. Our going out and our coming in, be guided and be protected by God Almighty. He said. He said. He said.